Hey you what's up guys, Crazy Battle Flipping here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to disassemble the BRS replicant. So let's just get started. So this video is mainly towards people who want to, who just got their replicant and they don't want the latch on it, or if you just want to take it apart for cleaning, or if you're going to anodize it, etc, etc. So yeah, so what you're going to need is basically just a T9, not sure what these are called. I totally forgot what they're called. But anyways, you need T9, one of these things. And then you need like a, just, a, just a container to put the parts in. Alright, so let's get started. So first we're going to start by taking off the handles. Which I believe stock reps are not thread locked in the pivots. And if they are, they're, you're just going to need some heat for it. Or if you can just... Pop it off, then it works. I mean, I have this thing really tight. So we go. And we can just take this and push the pivot out that way. Sweet. Now, what we can expect is a couple of bronze phosphorus washers, which basically cause for very smooth flipping. So there's safe handle. Um, the bushing might come out, but if, if not, just leave it in there, I guess. So now into the bite handle. Okay, let's pivot piece number one. Push out the pivot, or not the pivot, the other part of it. Move the handle, and oh, there must be another washer on there, other side. Blade, yeah, uh, well, oh, there it is. There's the third and fourth bronze phosphorus washers. So now we can set the blade aside. Now we're going to start disassembling the bite handle. I don't think we really need to disassemble this handle, but just, just in case we do, I'll do it for you guys. Okay, so what we're going to do is find the side with the screws on it. And then we're going to unscrew this Zen pin screw right here. And be careful with the Zen pins because I heard they snap. Uh, I was lucky that mine weren't Loctited so they won't they won't break. They shouldn't break on me. Because so I shouldn't have any trouble. Now people, now every time when someone does this they complain because these just spin and spin and spin. Then what you're going to do for that basically is, now I was like scared to do this when I first got this. But then I tried it and it really doesn't hurt the knife. So what we're going to do is take this, the liner and the scale on top, we're going to pull it out and move it to the side like that. Now this, this creates tension on these. So now we can unscrew them with ease and they won't spin on us. So there's the first one. And again, I think these on stop replicants are Loctited, so you might need some heat to get rid of that. But you want to be careful to not to melt the G10. That'd be terrible. Take out screw number two. Bam. There we go. There's the scale. Oops. Here's the liner. And here's the latch. Should look like this. Focus, please. Okay, it should look like this. Then come look this little um, hinge thing that goes in between the liners to keep the latch on. So if you want, if you're taking that out, um, I have like a really small bag for it. So put it in there, put it on my shelf because I'm never gonna see it again. Then yeah, continue to take these out along with the spacer. Now for this last one. Sometimes it'll just go, but if not, if it just spins, then you might want to grab a pair of oops, crap, pliers and just hold it there like that. Then there. There you have it. So now all the bite handle parts are in here. Well, and the screws and pivots to both handles.
I'm not screws and pivots, but the washers and pivots. Sweet. Ooh. It's a little dirty. A little dirty. So while I'm at it, I'm just gonna clean her. This is probably just oil. And just so you guys don't have to watch this, I will skip ahead. Okay, sweet. Now that those are all clean, we can move on to the safe handle. So, just go. I'll move a little quicker this time. So, unscrew this first screw. The Zen pins. Take the liner and the scale. Move it out to the other side. Like that. Again, it does not hurt the knife. This creates tension so that you can unscrew these other screws with ease. There's one. There's two. Now we can just pop these guys off. Oops. And I'll have to clean this handle too. Spacer, then there's these. We can set those in there. Then we take our pliers, grab onto that back part right there where the Zen pin goes, and unscrew it. Put that there. Take that there. Now I'll clean those off real quick. Well, there you all have it. That is how you disassemble the BRS replicant. And just to be sure, I'm going to give you a spot check, you guys, for these parts that we took apart from the handles. So you should have four of these. Two of these. Oops. Focus. Lost the focus. Awesome. Eight of these. Four of these. Sorry, that I don't know the proper. Well, these are bronze phosphorus washers. I don't know the proper names for all these. Then. Two of these. Then lastly, two of these. Once again, that's all for you guys today. How, you dis how to disassemble the BRS replicate. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If not, I'm very sorry. Um, yeah, so leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Feel free to leave a comment. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.